Okay everybody, this is an update from me, Lorraine Scapelines. I'm a personal trainer and corrective exercise specialist for 30 years, focused on um, pre and postnatal menopause. I do online programs, but I'm recently post um, surgery of a full knee replacement. So if you want to keep following me and having a look at where this knee was prior to surgery, why I've had the surgery done, progress, etc., have a look in the playlist and click like and subscribe. But Today's the day I'm having my staples out. There's about 25 staples there, and there's this incision point here. And I've been given the little tools myself to take, not for me to do, to take to my own GP. Um, and that's just a new, hopefully, it's a nice one of those tape to reduce scar tissue. And um, that's what I always suggest to my um, C-section mums. And I'm definitely going to be taping my scar for the next 12 weeks to hopefully reduce scarring. Um, now, where am I up to? A few of you have been asking, where am I up to with kind of um, pain, um, discomfort, etc. Um, there was a lot of pain in lifting the leg for the first week to almost 10 days. Yesterday, so say for instance, this is the sofa, it was the first time I could lift, it's still painful there across the knee, but I can actually lift my leg up so I get pain across the top of my knee there and um, now a lot of stiffness I am um, when I'm in bed at night I get kind of quite a lot of burning so I'm still taking um, a nerve tablet for those this um, this side um, is feeling pretty good I can feel this now this side is awfully numb it feels awful um, I don't like how that feels at all and I'm not sure if it's going to come back, um, which is the thing post um, total knee surgery. Um, in terms of movement, I can also do a lift now and I'm um, 12 days post. It'll be two weeks on Monday. It's Friday today since I had the surgery. So up until two days ago, I couldn't lift. I was doing assisted lift. So I would use my other foot here, ankle. So this is a great way to do it, to assist that extension. Also to assist getting up and out of bed and on the sofa. So use your other leg to assist because it's very, very painful. And sometimes, you know, you're on your own um, and you can't do this. In terms of um, it, how much movement I've got, I have got that now. So it's an actual, I've almost got the straight, straight leg. Remember my leg was bent for so long, contracted. It was probably about that for over 12 months um, contracted. So that's really good. I want to improve that. I've tried to get on the bike, um, but it's still a little bit too painful coming through. The, the stiffness, you feel a whole stiffness throughout the joint. Um, I'm also tiredness across the tib fib here. Um, I've just noticed that today. Maybe I did too much yesterday. I don't know. You know, I'm not really using any walking aid and I know I should be um, to try and improve the gait um, first. In terms of strength, it's getting a lot better in terms of um, movement with my squats, etc. Um, I'm doing lots of little other exercises as well, um, which is going to help everybody's rehab, which again, those exercises are not necessarily mainstream. So I'm going to show you those. I'm going to show you how I've been doing the stirs, um, how, how I've been trying to improve um, range um, and how often I'm doing that. Okay, so I'm going to show you after. I'm going to add on to this how it feels so you can look away. I'm going to try and see if they'll let me video a couple of staples being taken out. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. But it'll be attached soon. Cool. So it's a day after I've just had those staples out. As you can see, I was pretty actually shocked by how it how it looked. Nurse was great taking them out. Um, I had to take... Um, with me, which I'll show you in the next video. I don't know why I've got it. The little tool which they give me at the hospital to take to your GP um, to help take the staples out. Honestly, it was just like little tags. Um, some of them which had twisted were a little bit more sticky um, to get out, but it was only kind of like a, 
a needle pick, a little like pinprick. So honestly, not, not too bad getting those staples out. It, it looked worse, but apparently it was healing good. No redness, no infection. I've just had these extra steri strips around for protection this weekend and I've got a new kind of waterproof um, plaster over the top. Anyway, next videos for next week um, following this rehab process is all the rehab exercises that you're not given. What I'm doing to help improve mobility and um, glute, core strength, even upper body strength as well. These are all exercises um, as a personal trainer, someone who's concentrated on rehab um, programs pretty much all my life um, you need to be doing um, and again physio exercises doctor hospital exercises just focus around the knee which is fantastic um, but there's also a lot more you can be doing for your recovery okay so make sure you're following here on the playlist click like and subscribe and i'll see you all soon hope your recovery is going well and please i love to hear your stories and can help you out so make sure you comment below bye everybody